Namaste people, welcome to Shweta's basket. My name is Shweta and this is my basket, which are very lovingly packed with goodies like short stories, poems, book, movie and restaurant reviews, all absolutely fresh and original. For the reviews, you can head over to my website and have the stories and poems, well, stick around. The story that I have for you today is a very sweet story. It's about new beginnings and new goals in life, whatever the age might be. Such stories are important because they help break stereotypes, like how we expect our elderly people to behave in a certain manner and believe that it is their time to relax now and not start anything new. And even if they do start something new, it has to be sedentary or religious. <laughs> Why? Why can't it be something invigorating or exciting? So this story is a beautiful example of breaking those stereotypes. For our perspectives change slowly once we hear such stories repeatedly. Now this story is titled Of Pageants and Hobbies and is written by Arva Bhavnagarwala. Now Arva is a pediatrician and in between seeing her patients and being patient with her two boys, she somehow finds time to scribble down a few words here and there. But when these very words turn into a story and strike a chord with her readers, she's obviously beyond thrilled. So this is Arva's story of pageants and hobbies. And this is how it goes. I want a gym membership. Dr. Shashank Kothari cleared his throat as he spoke to the receptionist. She looked at him and smiled while handing him a form to fill in his details. Tina, one of the instructors, looked at the new arrival with fascination. He was a tall fellow, dressed in a loose t-shirt and tracks, which did nothing to hide his paunch. His hair was more salt than pepper, and she pegged him to be around 60 years of age. The receptionist guided him to the deity ship. After about an hour, he came out sweating and yelled at the receptionist. I want six-pack abs in three months. Do whatever you have to do to get me there. Yes, sir. That is what we are going to do. But your diet is as important as working out. And looking at your... Uh, um, the receptionist was at a loss of words. But Tina interrupted the conversation. I'll take it from here, she said curtly. Tina gave a tour of the gym to her new client. Shashank wiped the beads of sweat that dotted his face. I know all this. Let's start working out. I need to achieve my goal soon. Tina looked bemused. What's the hurry? She raised her brows. At your age, we need to take things slow. We need to reduce fat from your body first before we start with the abdominals. This is going to take time. I know all that. That is the biggest irony of my life. I am a cardiovascular surgeon and yet I have no time to do a cardio workout. Look at me. He gestured to himself. Tina knew he must have been a handsome fellow with his height and strong features. But his weight and paunch was a downer in his personality. Relax, Dr. Kothari. I will do my best to help you achieve your goal. One question though. Why do you need six packs in three months? She questioned while adjusting the controls of the treadmill. I want to take part in the Mr. and Mrs. Sexagenarian contest. The first round is in three months. It had all started a day before. When scrolling through Facebook, he came across this advertisement. It piqued his interest immediately. Participating in a pageant had always been his dream. And now, exhausted with his daily routine, he wanted to try something different. Priya, what say? Shall we register for this? He had asked his wife. I don't mind, but look. She showed him the various events in the pageant. The first round, which is the audition round, is a fit body. And then looking at him, she shrugged. Now you understand why I'm always behind you to ditch the car and the elevator? Dejected, but not demotivated, 
He had entered the gym closest to his house the following morning. Doctor, come on, start walking. Tina snapped her fingers and brought him back to the present. With a deep sigh, he started his workout. The next couple of days were tiring and he almost wanted to give up on going to the gym and his no-nonsense trainer. But the sight of his wife doing Surya Namaskars motivated him to walk in the direction of the gym despite the cramps. The agonizing cramps had made it difficult for him to concentrate on his daily work. He reduced the planned surgeries only to one a day and handed over the emergencies to his younger counterparts. Over the next few days, his body adjusted to the new routine. The cramps were less and he looked forward to that one hour of exercise. However, he now started getting restless. He was marking the days in his calendar, a countdown to the audition. And Tina wasn't doing much to take him closer to his goal. Her voice was so authoritative, in spite of her petite frame, that sometimes it gave him shivers down the spine. No one had bossed over him in years. When are we starting with the crunches? He asked her one day, huffing while walking on the treadmill. Tina was training another client. She took a sip of water and asked him, What did you eat yesterday? Tell me in detail. Shashank's eyes twinkled like a little ball. In the morning, I ate the idlis that Priya had prepared, but I was ravenous at work. So I ordered a burger and a cold drink. Then I skipped lunch because of a surgery, ate a banana after that, and for dinner, I had chicken gravy with three butter chapatis and a strawberry milkshake. He was drooling while talking about it, and his stomach gave a rumble at that moment. But when he looked up at Tina, her glare was murderous. Oh, 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 um, Shishan gave an awkward laugh. <laughs> uh, I was kidding. He looked all around, except at her. He felt as if he was being punished by a strict teacher. And you want to start crunches? She narrowed her eyes. Follow the diet given to you. Did you even go through it? When there was no response from a student, she continued. You have to eat every three hours. More proteins, egg whites, fish. You have to eat fruits, drink lots of water. No skipping meals, no processed food. When I think you are following your diet well, we will start with the abdominals. A month passed and Shashank was still on the treadmill. But instead of being annoyed, he was actually enjoying it. He felt better, as if a weight was lifted from his body. He hadn't lost much weight as such, but the lightness made him cheerful. All right, let's start those abs. Tina smiled at him one morning. Woohoo! Shishan gave a whoop of joy and the other patrons looked at him in amusement. He gave them a smile and shrugged. This is so much fun, he said to Tina after his workout. I never knew I would enjoy working out so much. <laughs> I am so glad then. Do you know people do this as a hobby too? She smiled. Really? Working out as a hobby? He asked. Yeah, building muscles is a great way to stay fit. It needs a lot of dedication. Even with respect to diet, she said, wiggling her brows. Shashan gave a hearty laugh. <laughs> I have been following that diet well. Priya is happy too. Over the next two months, they alternated between various workouts. Shashank lost a few kilos, but he hadn't reached the stage he had imagined. Shiny and slick, six-pack abs, a la Shah Rukh Khan in Dard Disco. The auditions of the pageant arrived much too soon, and the husband-wife duo were ready in traditional Indian outfits. The host announced their names. Please welcome our next pair, Mr. and Mrs. Kothari, 64 and 62 years respectively. They walked on stage with confidence and gave their best. It was a moment of pride for him. He 
He had delivered numerous lectures at various conferences around the world. But that day he felt the most joyous. He turned up at the gym the next morning and started with his warm-up. So, how was the event? Tina inquired. It was amazing. <laughs> of course, we weren't selected because there is not a significant reduction in this, he said, pointing to his stomach. But we are happy. We tried at least. Tina smiled and said, Proud of you. And I'm not going to leave this place for a long time, he winked at her. This is my new hobby now. I enjoy it. It makes my predictable life interesting. Tina laughed. <laughs> Let's start then. Yes, I want to build my biceps too. Yeah, yeah. Tina's laughter echoed in the gym. Wow. I hope and pray to God that I too will be this excited about something at that age. I hope I don't become a full-on couch potato. I so hope to travel, just travel, the slow and take it all in kind, not the over in a whirlwind and you are home before you even realize you were on a vacation kind. So tell me, what do you hope to be excited about at 60? Write to me and tell me and we will compare notes. My email ID is shweta at the shwetasbasket.com and you will find that in the episode description as well. Please visit my website www.shwetasbasket.com for more short stories, poems and reviews. And apart from emailing me, you can get in touch with me on Facebook and Instagram. My handle is shwetasbasket. I hope you caught my previous episodes and not to miss any in the future, do subscribe to my website and follow my podcast. And to all you writers out there, have you thought of having a website of your own? A virtual catalog that has all your words displayed in one place, be it stories, poems, musing, articles, rants, reviews, recommendations, whatever your heart desires? Well, if you have, then listen on. In the meantime, this is your host, Shweta Singh, signing off. Till we meet again on the air. Bye for now. Do you want to have a website of your own? Are you a writer, photographer, actor, makeup artist, hairstylist, or even a tutor, singer, painter, journalist, consultant? Or do you have your own cafe, restaurant, resort, holiday home, shop, small business, hospital, or even a blog, WordPress, or Blogspot account? that you want to migrate to a good-looking website? Well, look no further. The Geeks will help you. And you will find them in the Geeks room at Artoons Inn. Just click on the link in the episode description. Yes, it's that simple to have a website. My website is hosted and managed by them. And want to know what I love about them? They are professional, customer pleasers, straight talkers, and very competently priced. So what are you waiting for? Your website is just a click away.